Hi, my name is Alex Vaz. I'm a senior Zoho consultant at Cornerstone Solutions. I'm going to help you to understand what are the chains on the new Zoho CRM report. If you haven't checked before, Zoho has updated their report system and structure, and it's a little bit different from what it was before. As we're a Zoho partner, we had the opportunity to access this report, this new report, earlier than the regular user. Because of that, I'm going to be able to share and compare the two screens, the two reports side to side. I'm going to share my screen right now with you. You're going to be able to see two browsers here. The one on in the left is the old report, the green here at the top. And the browser on the right is the new report with purple at the top. I'm going to try to mimic everything that I do with the old report, with the new report, so you can see the difference. Let's start from scratch by creating a report. Click Create Report on both. Uh, on the old one, you had here the option to choose the primary module. Let's choose Deals. And in this one here, you picked over here, Deals. On the old one, you, you had to pick the related modules at this stage here. Choose Accounts and Contacts. Let's click Continue. Let's click Continue here. On the old report, you had to, the, the next step, you had to pick the type of report, which could be a tabular, summary, matrix. We normally pick the summary, and I'm going to explain how it works on the new report as we go through that. It's going to be for a little farther away. Let's click continue. On the new report, you have something different. Now we have the option to choose the parent module and the child module. What is the parent module? The parent module is, is the, all the lookup fields related to this primary module. Uh, let's say you have accounts in deals as a lookup field. You can connect here with accounts. You can add up to five parent, comp, uh, parent modules here. Let's choose now the contacts. The child module is connected to the related list. Let's click here so that you can see you have activities, attachments, calls, emails. Let's choose activities for now. When you choose the child module, you have the option to be inclusive or exclusive. The inclusive is uh, when a deal is created with and or without activities. And exclusive is when a deal is created with activities alone. Let's keep inclusive, click done, and let's click continue. Now we are pretty much at the same stage on both reports. Here on the left is the old report. Let's, uh, you have the column, which is similar to these columns here. You can move, you can delete, you can add the same here. You can move. You can delete, and you can add here. Let's delete this one. Then you have the group is here on the old report. It has the option to choose three options. It's compatible to the row groups on the new report. Let's choose. Deal name and deal owner. Click done. Let's close deals here as well. Deal name and deal owner. One thing that you're going to note, when you put the group here, once they have the same name, it keeps the two columns here, which you, you're going to need to come back here and delete this one. So you don't have the repeated data. Then you have here on the old reports, you have columns to total, which is compatible to aggregate columns. 
let's use deal sum, deal amount sum here. And if you go here, it takes a little bit to load it. Okay, got it. Let's take a little bit longer. Let's choose some off amount, which is similar. Let's click done. One thing that you, you're probably gonna notice here, whatever you do in this report, you can see like a preview uh, as you make the chains. On this one here, you're not gonna be able to see the, the chains once you uh, save or run this report how the report's gonna look like. That's one thing that is very good about this new UI. Now you can see here, column groups. This one is what is compatible to the matrix. Instead of choosing the type of report here, you're gonna build based in, in the data that you picked here. In this case here, Let's choose let's choose deal owner. Just to show you, when we choose deal owner, you see it creates a column here for each deal owner. That would be compatible if you were creating a matrix report. Let's cancel this one just for now. Let's delete it goes back to the same as we have here. Let's click continue. When you click continue, we have the filters, which the filter is over here now. It works in the same way. Let's choose the created time last 12 months. You have the advanced future uh, filter, which is the same as over here. Let's choose created time. Let's drop mocks. Let's click run. Let's save this one and let's click run. You basically have uh, the same result here, different SRMs, but it's the same structure as uh, Let's go and click edit. Let's click edit. Let's change the filter. Your name. Let's go back to the feature. You can click here to edit. Your name. It's, uh, so it's got a little bit more compatible to one to another. You see the how it comes out. It's a little different in the UI. Let's click save. Give me report. Next folder. Same here. Let's click. Let's choose the folder, AV report, AV report, save, and save. 
You see, it's a little different how it's structured. You have like, a, you can scroll here. And uh, you have to create a, a chart, the option to create a chart. You have more options. Let's do create a chart here as well. As you have the options to choose here, now it's over here. You can pick the ones that work for you. Let's say horizontal bar, horizontal bar. The same way with the axis, the grouping you have here. And you have a little bit more details, maximum grouping. You can sort by here. Let's click save. Let's click save. Here's the new report and here's the old one. Uh, at first glance, they can look like a little tricky. Uh, the new one can be a little tricky. But uh, as you start to use, you're going to see it can be very helpful in the way that it was built. If you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to contact us. Go to uh, zcrmhelp.com and let us know if we can be of any help.